turn me loose. I gotta do it my way. Eat my shorts. Hey guys, I know it's been a long time since I have shot any videos for YouTube and the reason why is actually because I've gone through a lot of life um, changes. As you can see, I am in a new apartment. So yeah, so now I actually I don't live with a roommate anymore. Not that I had any like you know, problems with my roommate. Uh, we didn't really know each other that well, but now, I mean, I have sort of complete reign over what I want to do with my apartment, so I'm gonna make it an 80s apartment. What other type of apartment would it even be, you know, if you know me? Also, I am currently shooting on a camera that I am renting for a wedding I'm about to shoot, so I just wanted to kind of play with it a little bit and see what it looks like on YouTube because who knows, maybe I will actually buy the camera. One of the reasons why I have not been filming as much is because of my camera. I have the Canon G7X Mark II, but it's kind of fallen apart. It's got, uh, it's got duct tape all on the back. I don't know if you can see that because the screen fell loose from the back. Also, my screen is very cracked. Um, you can see it up there. I dropped it a couple of times. I mean, this thing is like an extension of my arm and uh, I take it everywhere and I've dropped it a couple of times, unfortunately. Um, so that's another reason why I haven't really been filming very much is because I really need to get a new camera. And uh, so right now I have this rental camera so I can um, make, a, uh, make a video for you guys because I know you probably miss me and wondered if I died. So I thought for this video I would give you a little tour of my new apartment even though there's not really much to see yet. I don't have all of my furniture yet that I ordered and it's kind of a work in progress. But I wanted to kind of show you around so you could get a feel for what I'm going for and maybe you guys have some suggestions of things that I can do to make it look really cool and uh, vintage and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so feel free to comment down below, that would be great. So this is sort of what my living room space looks like right now. I've got my couch and my two little sort of I don't know what you'd call them, like mid-century to like 60s style chairs. Those were super hard to put together, by the way. Um, I've been putting together all of my own furniture and I actually kind of enjoy it, but I love my hardwood floors. They are amazing. Um, up here, I have Joe Elliott. If you don't know who Joe Elliott is, he is the lead singer of Def Leppard. My dad, when I put this up, said, Great, Megan, you'll be looking at an armpit all of the time. And I was like, I didn't even think about that, but Joe Elliott armpit. It's pretty small. Um, I don't really need a big kitchen though, it's just me. So going in here, you've got the uh, stove and this cheap microwave I bought. But this is the pride and joy of the kitchen. It is my 1984 Twisted Sister poster. I didn't really know where to put it, so I threw it up in here. So I don't like this wall very much. Um, but yeah, there is Dee Schneider with his gang of Twisted Sisters. <laughs> um, that actually came off of one of my record albums. It came inside of the album from 1984 that I have. I'll have to show you guys that in a few minutes. And then coming this way, here is the bedroom. I don't really have a whole lot of furniture for the bedroom. As you can see, I've got my uh, folding chair uh, and my desk for my computer and all of that. There's Bowie. Hello, Bowie. Um, and my Stranger Things poster. And there's my Def Leppard pillowcase because no bed is complete without a Def Leppard pillowcase. So speaking of 
albums. I wanted to show you some of the ones that I have. I don't have a whole lot because I've been sort of slowly collecting them. There is this cool record store uh, in Birmingham in the Five Points area that I bought some of these from and it was hilarious um, because the people who own the record store seemed like they probably could have been at like Woodstock or something just sort of like yeah the universe man oh my goodness just open yourself up to the universe so one of the albums I bought at that store is uh, Journey's 1980 album called Departure. I like this album because it has any way you want it on it. And so that was one of my first favorite Journey songs along with Separate Ways. But it's so funny because you can look at the guys on the back and see their hair. Like look at that. That is, I mean look at Steve Perry. Look at that hair, it's amazing. Men had great hair back then. Like this guy right here, I would so date that guy. Look at that perm, look at that merm, look at that man perm, it's amazing. And then on the, on the inside you've got, you've got the group right there. <laughs> look at that hair, man, men used to have great hair. It was amazing. I wish men would take care of their hair like that again. I'm not saying that men don't take care of their hair nowadays. I know there are some, but men's hair back then was, was pretty awesome. They totally conditioned. Speaking of awesome hair, the next album is one of my favorite 80s albums of all time. You may laugh at me when I reveal it. Twisted Sister, Stay Hungry. This is one of my favorite 80s albums. It has some great songs on it, like We're Not Gonna Take It, I Wanna Rock, and The Price. Those are some of my favorite 80s songs. Probably some of the more iconic 80s songs and some very popular music videos that were on MTV back in the day. The cool thing about this album is that it came with a, that poster that you saw in the kitchen, and it is a special edition so that the album itself is actually pink. How cool is that? Um, it's kind of a pink marbled sort of look um, and it's awesome. I, unfortunately, I haven't been able to play these yet because I haven't gotten my new album, my, well, my album, I haven't gotten my new uh, record player yet, but I am working towards that. Um, my other, a lot of my other albums are hanging on the wall, like this Loverboy album up here, the Get Lucky. That's another one of my favorite albums, probably second to the Twisted Sister album. I love Loverboy, of course, duh. So the next album, you may love it or hate it, uh, it was the thing that got me into the whole 80s thing in the beginning, is Flashdance. So this is the Flashdance um, soundtrack in, on vinyl. Um, it has those songs like What a Feeling, Maniac, all of those songs um, that made this movie so iconic. Um, interesting story that I will go into. This was the movie slash musical that got me into the 80s. It all started with this right here, guys. Um, so that's why it's sort of sentimental to me. I had some friends that grew up, like, were, I think they were in high school in the 80s, and they asked me if I wanted to go see Flashdance, the musical. And I was like, I don't know, I've never heard of it. I don't know anything about that. Um, you know, I don't really know anything about the 80s, but you know, I mean, if you guys are going, I'll go with you. Um, and I went and I loved it so much. Well, of course, because all of this. Um, but I started listening to these songs in my car and I just couldn't get enough. And so I started branching out to other 80s music and that was exactly how it happened for me was, was this right here. This is where it started. So I had to go back to it and get this album, though I don't always listen to these songs anymore. All right, guys, well, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update video um, because I've been gone so long and I wanted you guys to know that 
everything's fine. It's just my camera broke. I changed departments and I start a new job uh, this coming week on Tuesday. And so my life has kind of been chaotic. I've sort of changed career paths a little bit. And so, you know, I've, I'm not saying I haven't made filming a priority. I'm just saying that I've kind of pushed it aside a little bit for some new stuff that's happening. Um, but I hope to get back into it again um, once I get a new camera and hopefully make some really cool videos because I moved to a really cool neighborhood with some like, with like a space themed coffee shop. Um, so I, I would love to show you guys some of those places. So keep following me and I promise I will try to put out some new videos. Um, thank you for your support. My subscriber base has grown considerably even while I was gone. So thank you uh, so much if you just started watching my videos and you subscribed. I'm sorry I've been gone, um, but here I am again. So hopefully I can make another video with this camera soon um, before I have to t return it um, to the warehouse. But um, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.